balanced budget multiplier or the unit multiplier so show the exam expansionist fiscal policy Keynes says an increase in the government expenditure will lead to an equivalent increase in the national income an increase in the government expenditure that leads to an equivalent increase in the national income because when the tax amount is left in the hands of public they partially spend or partially save while the government will spending all the tax collection that's the difference so an increase in the government expenditure will lead to an equivalent increase in the national income because government will be spending all the tax collection but the tax amount is left in the hands of public they partially spend or partially saved example a government receives a tax revenue of rupees 100 crores a consumption of the tax payer would be less than rupees 100 crores there is a net reduction in the consumption of the tax payer would be less than the 100 crores because they would not spend the entire income if mpc is 0.8 the private consumption would be only 80 crores okay if mpc is 0.8 the private consumption would be only at 80 crores the government would spend the entire amount of 100 crores the private consumption is only 80 crores the government would spend the entire income that is the 100 crores the initial net addition to the expenditure flow of rupees 20 crores in the economy So a balanced budget multiplier is the ratio of change in income to a change in the government expenditure or change in tax. Ratio of change in income to a change in the government expenditure or change in tax. When the budget is balanced, okay, a combined operation of government expenditure multiplier and the tax multiplier. So basis. the base a campaign operation of government expenditure multiplier and the tax multiplier so balanced budget multiplier is a ratio of change in income to a change in the government expenditure or to a change in the tax structure mathematically the government expenditure multiplier delta y by delta g equal to 1 by 1 minus b or 1 by 1 minus mpc here also minus mpc divided by 1 minus mpc the balanced budget multiplier the tax multiplier is less than the government expenditure multiplier shows two multiplies are equal 1 minus b divided by 1 minus p okay so government expenditure multiplier it's a tax multiplier why it's called a unit multiplier because the combined government expenditure multiplier and the tax multiplier added up to 1 so it's called as a unit multiplier it's equal to 1 because the net increase in income mm. resulting from the change in g or the government expenditure and the changes in t exactly equal to the initial change in g we say the change in the income level equal to change in the government expenditure equal to the change in the tax structure so unit multiplier tax multiplier lead to an increment of income in the reverse order expenditure multiplier leads to increment in income in multiple terms okay so multiple the income level increment of income in the reverse order happens in the tax multiplier increment in income in multiple terms in the expenditure multiplier if mpc is 0.8 tax multiplier is minus 4 government expenditure multiplier is 5 if mpc is 0. Point, the value of multiplier will be 5 the value of multiplier will be 5 the initial net expenditure will be of 20 crores in the economy that means 20 crores into 5 all together 100 crores the, the additional income generation is 100 crores here the mpc is 0.8 so the tax multiplier is 0.4 government expenditure multiplier is 5 the value of multiplier will be 5 and initial expenditure will be of 20 crores an increase in the 
100 crores increase in the size of the government budget leads to an equivalent increase of 100 crores in the national income says by the Keynes. An equivalent increase of 100 crores in the national income when there is an increase of 100 crores in the size of government budget. Although this is an additional public expenditure, so fully financed by means of additional taxation, then the budget is balanced. Okay, additional public expenditure has been fully financed by means of additional taxation. So balanced budget multiplier means the increased expenditure on the part of government is incurred by the rising taxes. An equivalent increase in the hundred equivalent increase of 100 crores in the national income incurred by the rising taxes. Increased expenditure on the part of government is incurred by rising taxes. Okay. A balanced budget multiplier may be defined as a ratio of financial variation in income to initial changes in the tax finance government expenditure. Balanced budget multiplier or the union budget multiplier means a ratio of final variation in income or delta y to initial change in the tax financed government expenditure. So it is called as a unit budget multiplier also. Thank you.